day five of So Timber. I hope you've been enjoying each one of our days release. And today I've got something artsy to combine with embroidery. Let's get artsy. First, when I get started, I access my embroidery area of my machine. I'm looking for a line design. There's lots of different designs that are built into our embroidery machines. You might have a machine similar to mine. Browse through your machine and find a line design that you can paint along with me. At the bottom, you'll notice that I have found the one that I want to use. Look how pretty this design stitches, and it's perfect to color in with fabric markers or fabric paint. I grabbed me a cup of tea and some of my favorite fabric markers, and you'll notice that I like to start with a lighter color and then build darker colors on top, just coloring in all of those areas that I've embroidered. This is a relaxing process. Here you see me using my tulip fabric paints. These are my very favorite to paint fabric with. They create such coverage and you'll notice how they're very vibrant. Once it's all painted, I like to place it right sides together with a layer of fabric. Once I have it layered, I'll stitch all the way around just outside the area where my embroidery design stitched. I stitched all the way around. We'll flip it from the back side. But before we do that, I want to trim about a quarter of an inch along each outer edge. This is a project that I really enjoyed creating. You'll notice in the center, I actually use some of the background decorative fills that are within my machine. I'll clean up just in case I have any lint here and there, and then I'll snip a little opening in the back of the fabric. We'll flip it right side out. Definitely give it a good press. Use your point turner to get all those outside edges nice and controlled. And now we'll give it a good press. Isn't that pretty? And it's really a fun project. You could create this along with one of your friends, one of your children, your grandchildren, your nieces, your nephews, or just a whole group of friends. I think this would be a fun project to create together. Thank you for joining me for day five. Did you have a little bit of fun? If you did and you've created projects like this or you just wanna experiment a little, make sure you post your sew and hashtag it with Sew Timber on Instagram. Or join our Facebook group. Post that picture within our Facebook group. I can't wait to see whatever you have in store for me. See you tomorrow for day six.